Okay, so I'm going to see if I can't uh, get the electric motor out of this dirty old printer and uh, make a friggin' something that'll make lights work on my traptor. So I'll show you the guts of this in a, in a minute. Alright, so I ripped this uh, printer apart. All kinds of crap in there. I scored a couple metal friggin' rods. You know, who knows what that'll be good for, eh? But if you find a use for it, you'd be kicking yourself if you threw it out. But, uh, so I got two, two of these little, um, uh, what you call them there? Um, stepper motors. And I got these, I was in the basement looking for, actually looking for these, and I found these, like, uh, LED LED flashlight guys, but they're buggered like something wrong with the ground or something on these things, but uh, Like they are pretty bright you know uh, So that's what I'm going to use I'm going to try to cut this apart um, There on the on the back side of this there's just a little guy so I'll just solder a wire to each one of the connectors and you know I'd probably end up using using the lens or whatever and making like a guy or something to friggin mount that to the tractor but I got two of them so I'll uh, rip them apart and I was, you know kept the belt because it fits on them little tooths good right there but uh, I don't know if, if it'll be strong enough to friggin to run it off that I might end up just putting a rubber wheel on there like maybe that big around and then just sort of mashing it against the the pulley on the engine or whatever and as long as the engines running the, uh, the light should light up but I'm gonna test her out here so we'll uh, get this soldered up and we'll see if I can't figure out uh, how this can go all right so basically I'll just basically uh, there's the motor. Um, for some reason, the only wires that will, and I, I tested this by, don't try this at home, kids. You can just feel the, the current. Ooh, the faster you uh, spin it, the more juice you get. So I'm going to take these two antlers. I think I put them on the right way, I can't remember how I did it. That guy there and that guy there. You just give the motor like, I'm talking like one little flick of the, uh, the motor, like, you know, so I figure I get this thing blasting at like 6,000 RPMs and get two of these sons of bitches on the trapter and maybe one little one on the back, a little red one on the back or something. That'll be way enough light, eh? So, yeah, out of, a, out of an Epson printer. Power from a trapter lights. Sweet. All right, so I got my flux. There's way enough on this little brush and some solder and my soldering iron and so I'm just going to take this little wire solder these two lights together and solder the ends of the motor to there make sure everything works and, uh, and then I'll probably have to pull it all apart to, to make little boxes or whatever to uh, mount the, uh, the lights in anyway so just a little test run, so I'll show you what it's like when it's done. All right, so there's the motor. There's one light. There's another light. So if you just turn the turn it back and forth like that, you can see they both light up. And I mean, you get that thing just zinging. You know that should be plenty of plenty of light, especially two of them. So yeah, it's gonna work. Um, I also have these things from the dollar store that um, 
to get, you know, they're like for a dollar, you can get this stupid thing. So, you know, if you've got like a birthday party to go to, you can be like, yeah, 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 right? But uh, the guy inside goes from like one guy to a different color guy to a different color guy. And one, oh, that's all of them, I think. Or two of them. And that's that's two, two, other, two, two different ones. What the hell? There we go. Hey, get a couple of those dirty f guys for tail lights right there. Hey, alert the police of your presence. But yeah, I got two of these or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna crack these guys open and uh, wire that little thing up to it and see if I can get it working too. Why not, eh? Sheesh. Okay, so there's the guts. That's all it is. You got a little switch, changing the colors of the guys and then a little bit of stuff on the back little things little knobby things three LEDs on the front so I have little I don't know if it's going to work though I might end up uh, trying to hack apart a flashlight I have three bulb flashlights that these might fit in I, but I think the circuit board thing is too big so I'm gonna have a look at the other ones because yeah, the LEDs are are buggered on the other ones anyway, so maybe I can stick these in another flashlight bit and make little tail lights out of those. So, uh, but I still got to make sure they work with the with the thing with that little motor. So we'll uh, get them all soldered on and see if we can't give that thing a spin and see if they work. And another thing, you got these like little battery packs the bottom of the guy it's got the little tabs in there so you know what I mean you can cut all this extra crap off the sides and just have it keep the little square battery pack if you, uh, you need something but uh, one thing I tried hooking up this LED the, the change color change ones and they work but then there's only enough power for that but if you just take this off it's a lot easier to turn the um, the motor and both the lights work so I don't know for some reason these little three antler guys take up a lot more juice so I don't know it's crazy but uh, yeah so looks like we're just going with this headlights only that's all right sheesh so I took the other motor and rigged it up to these two LED guys just, uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's only two wires, so you just find the ones that need power on the little guy. And so I'll set one up for my, these ones will be my tail lights. Just a little light for you to see. And, and, uh, and these ones, the bigger, bigger motor, will be uh, my headlights. And I uh, romping around in the basement in the pitch black, and they work pretty good. So just turn it by hand so that motor should. Uh, should uh, give me light, so I just need to get on another printer and rig one of these up for my lawn chair and everything. So cool. Got some uh, Christmas lights to decorate for the friggin' holiday season. So I'm gonna put those up in the front window. So that should be nice, hey? Eh? Little tractors. They say like farm all onto them and stuff. Should be pretty sweet. Well, there they are, little tractor lights. Here's my decorations for Christmas. Little bastards, but I got all this other junk hanging in my window. Sheesh, can hardly see out. Pardon? Nothing. So here's what I'm gonna use for a driving wheel. I'm gonna try to, uh, gonna drill a hole into it, mount it on the lathe, because my chuck ain't big enough to bite onto the outside of the. Uh, well, the light here is fabulous. But anyway, uh, yeah. And Nelson came over. Him's back is buggered. But we're trying to see if we can't figure out what's wrong with this here carburetor. She's pulling the blackness out. So, getting her done. How's your back? Could be better. Yeah. Well, 
That's no good. Okay. See if we can get her working. We're just cutting the uh, puck. So we can make two wheel guys out of it. And then we'll shape the the edge so that it's either round or maybe fit it to the pulley itself, but something sweet might happen, so maybe somebody will get their sleeve pulled into the auger bit or whatever, you know, so keep watching. Getting a nice little profile onto her. That's all. Buddy, you are very unsafe. I'll just switch that off for you, bud. Okay. 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 So here's the plan. Oops. I um. I don't know if I did a video on this yet or not. Got that drilled out in the center to fit this broke-off piece of drill bit, so that I could push use this puller to, to get the, the center thing off. So what I did, I just drilled a hole slightly smaller than the, the little cog guy that was on there and just pressed it, you know, stuck that in the vise like that and just squished it down, munched it right in there and uh, it's actually quite straight and like I mean there's absolutely no wobble to it whatsoever but anyway so once I figure out, I gotta sort of grind a couple of these little antlers off and figure out how, I'm, how exactly I'm gonna mount it. But it's gonna be similar to these I cut just out of some tin to, you know, wrap them around, you know, bend it around, drill a hole in each end, sort of make like a 90 or whatever. So when it wraps around, I can put the bolt through there and then uh, uh, bolt it to the frame. But, uh, I mean, you know, it'll be a piece similar to this or whatever. I'll mount it to the motor. You know, it'll be thicker, thicker material, and then I'll have a pivot point with the wheel on there, and it'll just sort of pivot into the into the engine. So, but right now it is 20 after one in the morning. So we'll see uh, if I can't get this done before I have to go to sleep. That's how rough my engine was running. She's just Pluming a little bit of black smoke, nothing big, but well, oh, let's see here. What I need to do is uh, extend the wire between the uh, uh, flashlights. I just used what was in the printer, and that was the longest piece. So, but uh, yeah, more or less, what I'm doing is just. Um, sticking the stupid bracket thing. You know, I'd make the edges all round and clean that all up and paint it and everything, but, you know, I just want to make sure that this is going to work. I did test it out by just holding the, um, the motor, uh, in my hand and holding it up to the engine while I revved it, and it seemed to be okay. It didn't burn anything out or seemed to be causing any trouble, so... It should work. I just don't want to put a whole bunch of effort into it and then, uh, you know, have the uh, motor put out too much power or something and then blow the bulbs and have to come up with a plan B or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with how it's come out so far. It would be nice if I could have used something like this, but I only have one of these in my little parts pile thing, so... But it fits perfect on there, but you know, I'll use that for another one or something, like one where I'm only going to use one light on. So, uh, yeah, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. And it's friggin' 5 to 2 now, and it's just too late to. All my soldering stuff's in the house, so the old lady will flip out if uh, I wake her up to do a bunch of soldering. So I'll just wait till tomorrow shouldn't be too much uh, too much of a big deal all that's left is uh, just sticking her on and a couple of nuts and bolts drill a couple holes
couple springs maybe or something. Good to go. Okay, so this is what we've come up with. We've got the lights mounted on the front there. We've got this little arm. This is all just sort of a uh, um, sort of mocked up for now. But uh, there's the wheel. Press it onto the guy. Get a good shot of this. Press it on there a little bit. And then just tip it into the, into the belt. Obviously, have to uh, stick that guy on there a little better. I just wanted to show you guys the progress so far. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys the progress so far. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't know if you heard a word I said, but this uh, this antler just put a bolt in it there. Obviously, you know I'm going to put some. Loctite in the threads get it, you know, so it'll, it'll pivot and then I'll probably have a spring, you know, going from somewhere to to um, Hold it up when it's not engaged and then I'll have a rod going from there to there and maybe uh, Put something like Where the hell is it this thing here? I go, uh, uh, a little handle You know with a little antler onto it so you pull it back, and then look, when it's all the way down, the light will be on. When it's all the way up, it'll be off sort of thing. Uh, yeah, and it'll just, you know, have a spring in it to take up take up the slack or whatever. But yeah, so there it is. So I'll get this video up, and uh, I got a bunch of mail gathered up. So I'll make a mail video here, probably do it today and put it up in the next day or two. Okay, thanks.